Okay, so I've just learned a thing. I learned a thing by doing like tons and tons of googling and also just trying to use my brain, but um, uh, guess Ooh. what? <laughs> there is in fact in Clip Studio Paint a way to switch between keys without clicking things. It's so nice, holy Ooh. I've discovered Nirvana. Like, here's my mouse, it's all the way over here. Normally, to go back and forth, you have to use the arrow keys here, which say go to next frame and go to previous frame. However, if you set up your hotkeys right for your animation uh, keyboard setting thingy, you can just make it so that when you press a button, it goes back and forth. You can also do it so that when you want a new, like, uh, frame, you can create a new one. When you want to turn on your onion skin, which is right over here, you can do that too. And the way that you do this, I am not fooling you, is you go over here to shortcut settings under file, shortcut settings. This is the important part. And then you see all of this crud? It has file, edit, story, animation. All the stuff you see right here is right here. But um, for animation, you wanna go to this guy and you wanna click on the little arrow to make the drop down menu come down. And in order to create a new animation cell, assign a hotkey to that. I use the number two because it wasn't being used. So now whenever I hit two, it creates a new animation cell on my timeline. And uh, again, if you want to like, go to like the start of your frame, assign a hotkey to it and you'll go to the beginning without having to friggin' play through it. It's so nice. And then it like, because I was just looking for keys that had no use uh, for the previous frame and the next frame, uh, I used A and S because they're right next to each other and I am right-handed, which means I need my right hand to draw things. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. You can just draw a thing. And then I'm gonna turn on onion skin, press of a button. Oh! And then uh, all you gotta do is animate a thing and if you don't think it looks right you can literally flip between your keys to look at how your motion looks which is so much easier than just watching the whole thing play through and you can just add new clips whenever you want to i'm very very excited about this oh my god Ah, and then... Ta-da! And that took me like 15 whole seconds. Which is, it's so much easier to do that. Which is real neat. Ta-da!